Hey friends, it's Mrs. Moody and Miss Megan today, and we're teaming up to bring you a very special Groundhog Day story time. Miss Megan's going to tell you all about some of the new things that we have going on at the library. Well, one of the most exciting is we have a early literacy calendar that's going to be for every day in the month of February, and we figured that we would read along with you for day two, which is Punxsutawney Phyllis by Susanna Leonard Hill, illustrated by Jeffrey Ebler. Would you like to start? Why not? All right. Punxsutawney Phyllis. And both of these are going to be available for checkout as soon as we finish this story time, if you guys want to read along at home. And on Hoopla. Yep. All right. So, Phyllis was not like the other groundhogs. She liked to get up in February instead of in March. She liked to be outdoors instead of indoors. When spring rang still the earth and everyone else huddled in their burrow, Phyllis splashed and puddled. You're sopping wet, her mother scolded. I like the way the mud feels between my toes, Phyllis explained. Her mother shook her head and said to Phyllis's father, that's Phyllis. When the stream water rushed icy cold and fierce between the banks, Phyllis went waiting. You'll catch a cold, Aunt Patsy warned. Phyllis's mother just shook her head. That's Phyllis. When the August sun beat down, turning the meadow brown, Phyllis picked blackberries, warm and sweet. You'll bake in this heat, Aunt Sassy cried. And guess what Phyllis's mother said? When I grow up, Phyllis said, I'm going to be Puxatawney Phil. Don't be silly, dear, her mother said. Puxatawney Phil is a fellow. The other grown-ups laughed, but Phyllis knew she could do it. No one ever took her seriously. And then, one February morning, Phyllis woke up early. She crawled out of bed and crept up the tunnel. The first light of morning shone at the mouth of the groundhog hole. From the big pine trees came the steady drip, drip, drip of snow melting. Running water whispered in the brook. The air was sharp, but something about it had changed. Spring was coming early. Look at that face on Puxatoni Stella. She skipped back down to the tunnel to wait for Uncle Phil to wake up and make his prediction. Phyllis, would you quit wiggling, complained Phil Jr. Yes, Phyllis, said Pete. Some of us are trying to sleep. How can you sleep when the spring is in the air, asked Phyllis. Phil Jr. looked at Pete. Only Phyllis would think spring was coming in the middle of winter, he said. It's not the middle of winter, Phyllis said. It's Groundhog Day. But Phil Jr. and Pete were already dozing off. Look at them. They look like Miss Megan in the morning. <laughs> Pretty soon, Aunt Sassy got up and tried to wake Uncle Phil. She shook him and tugged his whiskers. She shouted in his ear. Everyone else in the burrow woke up. But Uncle Phil kept right on snoring. What's all the ruckus? asked old Grandfather Groundhog. It's Groundhog Day, said Aunt Sassy, and Phil is still asleep. I'm afraid he's getting too old for the job. I'll do it, Phyllis said eagerly. Everyone laughed. Punxsutawney Phil has never been a girl, said Pete, and never will be, Phil Jr. taunted. Nobody's going to get the job until Phil gives it up, said Aunt Sassy. Now how are we going to wake him? Dump snow on him, Phyllis suggested. Good idea, said Aunt Sassy. It works. Oh, was she surprised. Oh, goodness. Uncle Phil grumbled. It's time to get up, said Aunt Sassy. It's Groundhog Day. I'm sleepy, complained Uncle Phil. If you're too tired, said Phyllis, I'd be happy to do the job for you. Harumph, replied Uncle Phil. Not just anyone can be Punxsutawney Phil. I'm not just anyone, said Phyllis. Is your name Phil? asked Uncle Phil. No, Phyllis admitted, but Punxsutawney Phil's real name isn't always Phil. I wonder what it always is. Yeah. Yes, okay. one grumbled Uncle Phil, but were you born on Groundhog Day? I was born the day after Phyllis said. Not good enough, said Uncle Phil. Besides, you're a girl. Oh, when the time comes, one of those fellows is going to fill the ticket. Phil Jr. and Pete smirked. They can't even feel spring in the air, Phyllis said scornfully. 
We have never had early spring, said Uncle Phil. In all my years at Tuxitani Phil, it's never happened once. Well, it's going to happen this year, Phyllis said stubbornly. Aunt Patsy chuckled. That's Phyllis, she said. Phyllis wished people would stop saying that. <laughs> Phyllis, come up with me and see what the world looks like in February, said Uncle Phil. Then you'll know that I'm right. Phyllis couldn't believe her luck. They walked up the long tunnel and emerged into the light. Uncle Phil sat up on his hind legs and sniffed the air. Just as I thought, he said, six more weeks of winter. Hmm. Early spring, insisted Phyllis. Look at all that snow, said Uncle Phil. Feel the cold. The snow is melting, said Phyllis. The water is running in the brook. Uncle Phil tilted his head and listened. Hmm, so it is, he said. I don't hear as well as I used to. The chickadees are singing their spring song, said Phyllis. I've never heard the chickadees on Groundhog Day, said Uncle Phil. And look, Uncle Phil, no shadows. My eyes aren't as clear as they used to be, said Uncle Phil. And don't you smell the sweetness of spring, asked Phyllis. Uncle Phil sniffed. Just a hint, he murmured. Oh boy, Phyllis is joyful today. There's something else, said Phyllis. She had finally figured out what had felt different about the air all morning. Feel the wind? It's from the west. It's a spring zephyr. Well, I'll be jiggered, said Uncle Phil. Oh, that no, was hats blown away. That's not good. Phyllis was right, Uncle Phil announced when they returned to the burrow. We're going to have an early spring. It's time for me to retire. But who will be your next Punxsutawney Phil? asked Aunt Patsy. I will, said Phil Jr. No, I will, said Pete. Sorry, boys, said Uncle Phil. You missed the signs, too. You can't mean, blustered Phil Jr. Yes, boys, said Uncle Phil. This time, this, <laughs> this time the best Phil for the job is a Phyllis. But what about the rules, whined Phil Jr. and Pete? Rules, schmooze. If Mother Nature can bend the rules once in a while, said Uncle Phil, we can too. Phyllis heard the water in the brook and the song of the birds, and she saw there was no shadow, and she felt the spring zephyr. That's Phyllis, her mother said proudly. Phyllis grinned and said, Coxatawney Phyllis. The end. And there are some facts on the back of the page for Groundhog Day that you can read. Well, I think that's going to do it for us. So tune in for more fun activities all through the month of February. Bye, right, friends. See you soon.